I've never realized how, like, yellow my room is. Holy shit, we gotta fix this. That's a little bit better. You know, in all honesty, I actually kind of feel like wearing a hat today. Give me a second. Yeah, it's a little better. Sleeping alone, huh? That's not too spooky. I've been doing that my entire life. Headphones recommended. All right, baby, let's go. Oh shit, that's too loud. I should take my headphones off. Bro, how loud is this game? I had I turned it down to eight and it's still pretty fucking loud. I'm sorry, the game's ultimate goal of giving you tinnitus will not work unless you play at max volume with headphones on. Me and my parents moved to a new house. I finally have my own room. I can relate to this kid already. I'm seven years old. I'm a big boy. Cannot relate to this kid anymore. About the seven years old part, I'm, I am a big boy. At least according to the federal government, I am. Wait, hang on. How tall is this kid? It's getting late. I should turn my stuff off. Yep. Go to the bathroom and brush your teeth. Damn, this seven-year-old has his priorities set straighter than most of the people I work with. Oh, there it is. Did I just use the fucking force to turn that on? Oh, dude, that's a speedrun strat. I just, like, telekinetically just brushed my teeth. I just looked at the sink and I brushed my teeth. That is awesome. Is this my room? Well. Alright, nighty night time. Can't wait to see what spooky stuff. I swear to God, the punchline of this game is you walk in on your parents having sex. And that's the real joke. Because if so, they stole that from a friend of mine. He already did that for a short film idea. Looks more like a space alien. That's just my imagination. There is nothing to fear. Once again, I have nothing to fear. Nah, dude, read up on the shadow people if you haven't heard that. I have sleep paralysis, and once I read up on the shadow people, I'm like, oh, great, that's just, that's fan-fucking-tastic. Fuck, I need to pee. Oh, that's a real seven-year-old right there. I don't think I started swearing until I was, like, nine or ten, because I saw School of Rock for the first time. And I'm like, Jack Black taught those kids how to swear. By extension, Jack Black taught me how to swear. That's my parents' room. I don't want to wake them up. Yeah, I guess the weird guy didn't wake him up either. Okay, shut that. What the fuck is that? Oh, is there somebody beating off in the shower? I'm just gonna like, use the toilet. Aw, oh, dude. I even had PP physics. It's amazing. I heard somebody follow me. Spooky! Alright, let's go back to bed. This seven-year-old kid's braver than most people. Like, I swear, if I, like, woke up in the middle of the night, and I saw, like, some silhouette in my doorway, and I had to pee, I'm like, well, I guess I'm just pissing the bed. I ain't dealing with that guy. It's finally morning. I'm hungry as hell. What seven-year-old gets up before the sun does? That's not how that works. Hang on. I mean, I used to do that occasionally just because Full House would come on at Nick at night before school, but still. Mom and Dad are still sleeping. I'll go wake them up. Oh, boy. Nah, dude, enjoy your freedom of not having your parents watching what you're doing. I did all the craziest shit imaginable whenever I was just by myself. Oh, God. Your parents are proud of you. Where the fuck are they? I'm getting scared. I'm not used to this place. Damn, dude. They should have had, like, an actual seven-year-old write the script. I feel like this is just, like, a Benjamin Button situation. Eh, anyway, I, I feel like I smell blood from the bathroom. How would a seven-year-old know what blood smells like? Okay. I managed to escape from the house and call a neighbor for help. He called the cops and they searched the house. They found the entity and took it to a special laboratory for research. I was taken to a psychiatric hospital. Life has never been the same. I lived with my grandparents, but they later died. I just realized I'm blocking the screen. I'm sorry. I'm going to be real at this point. I think I'd like to go back to the monster killing you and that ends the game thing instead of whatever that was. Just follow through with your horror game stories, guys. Come on. I know my expectations are too high for itch.io horror games, but... I don't know, at least have the entity get me. One parent was in the shower? Or was the skeleton the entity? Well, he is making a sequel, so actually... No, for real, this guy's actually making a sequel on this. Maybe that'll follow up on it. We'll see what happens. We will have all of our questions answered in April. I bet. If I even remember that I even played this game. I don't know. But until then, we gotta play. This is probably the scariest horror game I'm ever gonna play in my entire life.